So there it is, the production draft of the script. This isn't that prison drama, is it? No, it's the completely insane one about Jim's life as a forest boy turned stripper criminal that's literally the dumbest thing I've ever written. Ooh, great. The bad boy. You couldn't have worked in the word naked. I'm so excited. My butt is clenched like a rock right now. Ooh, prove it. No, don't. Well, that was record time. I have already got several Italian studios interested, provided, of course, that you took my notes. Uh, which notes were those? Cut anything boring, ignore your instincts, make it like Showgirls meets Harry Potter. Right. Yep. Did it. Because <laughs> if you didn't, I always have my highlighter. How about we just open the champagne and celebrate the end of my career as I knew it? I'll get it! Aren't you gonna answer the door? No, I meant the champagne. I got it. Da 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 da. I am your singing telegram. It was champagne, not a drive by. You just never know in my line of work. Oh, huh. well, it's good to know as an FBI agent, your first instinct is to play dead. What do you want? I got an invitation to your party. I'm not having a party. Uh uh. I already peeped through your window and you've got friends in there. And judging by my highly tuned lip reading skills, you are celebrating varnishing your pony. Finishing my movie. Finishing your movie. And we're friends now, so I should be there. It's not a party, and I didn't send invitations. Well, I got one. And it said it's a costume party? Yep. Oh, also, I uncovered tantalizing new evidence in the mystery murder that has rocked your world for months. But that can wait. Let's have a party. No. Hey. It's not a party. It's more of a business meeting with my agent and a producer, and I really can't afford to have anything mess it up. The paycheck from this movie is going to pay for the pool I want to put in. Wow. Didn't know times were so hard for you. We were just about to toast you. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm just trying my best day to day. I meant Scott. Ugh, patriarchy. To daddy. Scott. Daddy, daddy Scott. Scott. Well, there was my death knell. So, you're all really excited about Scott's script about Jim, huh? Seems like you're glad he didn't continue writing his prison drama after you threatened to kill him, Jamila. First of all, it's Jamila. And second of all, what the hell? Scott told me that someone threatened his former agent saying he had to stop writing the prison drama or else death. The only person aware he was writing that script was his writing coach, AKA you. Like I care about that script. Yes, I was the writing class coach, but I also was in charge of bingo night, the poetry class, and naked hot yoga, which was just regular yoga before I got there. That doesn't change the fact that you had access to the script. You picked the wrong day to mess with. Callista Flockhart, FBI. What's wrong with her? You know, it was also a man who threatened Aaron. if you'd let me play her message. No, I don't want to hear all that. Can we get back to the party? Why don't we just go and read the script out loud? It'll be fun. Oh God. I mean, oh sure. Let's check, rattle and roll. My apologies, Jamil. 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 La. Jamila. Your Highness. <laughs> I love you. I love your crown. Finally. You know it's rude to keep your guests waiting. You weren't invited. That's not what this paper thing with words on it says. You mean that invitation? Got you to confess. No, no, this is good. Now we have more attractive men to read the scripts. <laughs> we only have one before. Hey, baby girl. Are you a flight attendant? Because my plane has lift off. <laughs> I'm working. Shh, I got to be pro. The bad boy? I was hoping this was Brian the Bisexual Pirate. Uh, everyone can read whatever role because like, who cares, right? I mean, I did try to make specific choices. Let's just start. But before we start, um, did anybody have any trouble uh, parking or anything? Any trouble finding the house? Well, we are here, so. It took me a minute to find it. Then I realized I was already inside. Let's just start. But before we start, um, I thought we could all name our favorite animal. Why? Icebreaker. I like a seagull. Oh, you like seagulls. No, I like a seagull. Saw her on the beach once and I haven't forgotten about her. Anybody else? 
It's got you nervous. Let me tell you something my mama always used to tell me. The longer you wait, the more time you wasted. And that is time you could have been watching ER. And it is a good season this year. Y'all seen it? Real timely advice there. Let's just start. Uh, but before we start, uh, how about more drinks, huh? Jim, James, Bellhop, if you'll help me. He's stalling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really don't want to read the script. Then don't. We will. Can't you guys say you need to do something else? I mean, I do have a murder I'm getting close to solving. Yes! For once, I'd rather talk about that. Or would you rather tell me about how my translucent skin makes you feel like more of a woman? Not now. Look, there's some wine in the garage. We'll drink, and hopefully they won't notice how bad the script is. I'll still get paid, and I'll get my pool. Yeah, who cares about starving kids when you can float in your backyard? So, big news. If it's about your ex-boyfriend, I don't want to hear it. No, no. Although, he did call me. Girl, he does not make you happy. Also, I don't care. I ran the DNA, and I know who was killed in the wood chipper. It's someone you know. Who? Mac. Are you okay? You know, you think I'd be sad, but I'm like, eh, he wasn't that great. Do you know who did it? That's what this evidence will tell me. You just collected all that evidence? I took it from the lab. They weren't doing anything with it. And if my hunch is right... I'm sure it's not. The killer is gonna come here and kill one of us next. But let's go read your script. So, everybody gets a bottle. Don't worry about glasses, just drink it straight. That's what I'm doing. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hey. Let's start. Before we start, yes. two women just came into your house. With invitations? With giant knives. Huh. Excuse me. Two women with giant knives just snuck into the house. Do you know what this means? They're gonna cut a giant cake? I... The killers are here? But those killers are after Brian, so Brian must be here. All these people keep showing up that I didn't invite. You invited me? <gasps> Thanks for that. BJ, where'd you come from? And why are you dressed like that? Uh, I've been in a hospital for weeks. I ate your stupid poison pizza at your stupid game night and almost died. And then absolutely nobody came to visit me. I've been there literally every day. Thanks for telling me it was poison, by the way. He just stood there and let me eat it. But I used your insurance, so I guess we're kind of even. Usually when they discharge you, they give you your clothes back. Oh, they did. He's been out for days. He just thought this would be more dramatic. Got the invitation to your party and I couldn't miss it. I didn't invite you. <coughs> I didn't invite anybody. Then what do you call this piece of paper with all these words on it? An invitation. Ha! I knew I was smarter than you. Oh, trying to one-up me again, eh, cousin? Well, guess what? While I was in the hospital, I discovered what I have always been meant to do. Write songs, volunteer, help others. Shoot a porno with my doctor. Of course, mine's gonna sell millions more copies than Jam's stupid porno. Brandon, it's Roderick. No one cares. This says starring Josh Hartnett. Yeah. Does it? No. So? I have a ballpark resemblance. Well, that'll be a fun lawsuit. So you're pretending to be someone you're not? Works for everyone else. Why should even work for me? Shall we watch? I don't have a DVD player. But Yeah, I don't have a DVD player either. No one does anymore. I tried to tell him. Yeah, this is basically useless. Well, I guess I'm the last guy to have a successful porn DVD. I win again. I won't stand for this! No, seriously. I need to lie down. I'm weak without my IV. You went cycling this morning. Shh. You really hate your cousin. Would it ever make you so mad you'd murder a member of his family in a wood chipper? Chill, Veronica Mars. The only thing I ever murdered was Nicole Scherzinger's solo album. But that's what she gets for laughing through my Pussycat Dolls audition. Then how do you explain this? Found at the scene of a murder. Different colors, different candy. Sorry about it. Oh, I need a rest. I got you. No! Oh, oh, no! How about you just crawl? <laughs> Meanwhile, there's still killers here, right? Yeah, but also, we're gonna read your script about me. Let's get started. Before we start. Dang it. Some sexy train wreck of a woman just walked into your house. With a giant knife? With a giant 40 ounce. Huh. Excuse me. 
You know I love waiting. Oh yeah, I, I know. Want to see some evidence from a crime scene? Who is this? She trying to outdo me with that hat. Feed them. To the wolves? Something to eat. Oh, God. I was gonna say, I haven't talked to the wolves in years. Although, I probably could get a couple of bears here in about 30 minutes. Is your Aunt Whitney here? No, she's dead. I killed her years ago. What? Oh, is your Aunt Whitney here? Look, you want them to make this movie about you, right? Well, that's not gonna happen if they're not happy. And killers and boyfriends turned FBI agents and your drunk hormone of an aunt are not happiness-inducing. Do you need help down there? I'm just comparing these sequins found at the crime scene to the hot pants on this really dynamite ass. You can just hold it with your bare hands? I can. The evidence. Right. Whoopsies. Look, just make them something to eat so I can find everyone and get them out of here. I know just the thing. You, help me look for the killers. I'm gonna look for Aunt Whitney. Got it. Oh! I thought you were going upstairs. I thought you were going to the garage. Oh. 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 It'll just be a minute. Um, some dude just came into your house. With a, uh, with, with anything? Were we supposed to bring a gift or something? Um. Here you go. <laughs> so thoughtful. So stupid. Shark's fin soup, madame. Mm. What is this? Shark's fin soup. Well, it's actually cut up hot dogs and cereal, but I think the hot dogs look like little shark fins. Mm. Super cute. If there's anybody in here, just look out! James! What are you doing in here? Keeping an eye on Brian. Brian's not here. Hey, Scott. <laughs> like, why? Why can no one enter a room like a normal person? Is now not a good time? For the guy I thought I was dating but is actually an FBI agent to come hang out in the dark in my garage? Yeah, let's do it tomorrow. I'm really sorry. It was my job to get your prison drama. And your method was to pretend to be interested in me? Are you even gay, dude? There's nothing worse than a straight dude pretending to be gay. Well, you pretended to be a vampire. You're not actually a vampire. No, I am. Well, I guess I'm never sleeping through the night again. I couldn't sleep with you because of ethics. You don't sleep with white dudes. What? No, not ethnics. Ethics. I don't sleep with guys I'm investigating. Lame. Why did you want my prison drama? You're writing about a prisoner who may have been wrongly convicted. We can't get him to talk to us. He's only willing to talk to you, but- I've been told I'm a good listener. It's called active listening, where you really have to maintain eye contact. Oh, that's not the point. We think the real criminal was Paul Jonas. Paul Jonas, yes, I thought so too. Dude, for a good listener, you interrupt a lot. We need evidence and we think it's in your script, but getting that script has been much harder than you'd imagine. Well, when it comes to you and me, a lot of things have been much harder than you'd imagine. That sounded like I was talking about penises. Eh, maybe I was. You got his script, so why are you here now, dude? He invited me, but I'm scared. There's killers in there. Or did you want to lure him out here so you could kill him in private? Why would I do that? Uh, Because if you killed him in public, people would see. Is this your first time killing somebody? I didn't invite you. I don't really want to see you. I've been trying to tell you I wasn't who I seemed to be. The fortune cookie, the game clue. That was you? I thought you'd figure it out. Scott's dumb. You know, it's like, why hasn't nature taken care of this one yet? Look, thanks for the apology, but I'm trying to put in a pool, so perhaps it's best you leave. Oh! Hey! Scott! I was wondering if you have any uh, weights that I could lift? I feel like warming up my arms before I do any more script tearing. Hey, I know you. Yes, I was on Switched at Birth. Yes, I will autograph your chest. Yes, I do have a highlighter. No, that's not it. Don't say Gilmore Girls. God, I just said it. Why can't I say Gilmore Girls? Scott had an idiot friend who made a website completely trashing my character on the show and basically destroying my childhood, but who cares, right? Kinda sounds like you care. I'll be inside. Just listen for the sound of paper shredding. I gotta go. You know what? I think I'll just keep hiding in here a little longer. He's a bottom. Huh. Mm. <laughs> mm. This is one of my favorite recipes. I know, madam. Madam? 
Mm-mm. Are you hiding? I'm coming. Aha! <gasps> How did you know I was behind you? My senses are never wrong. Just as I know no one's behind this door. Ow! Whoopsies. I'm okay. I'm okay. Did my face look weird? Who? Who are you? Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Oh, we are not supposed to tell you our real names. I'm Elizabeth. Ah, shoot. I asked for a new partner. They misheard me and gave me a wad of gum. You have gum? What's with the tinfoil knife? I... She forgot hers. Oof. <laughs> That's embarrassing, huh? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Just stay out of our way. You have no idea what you're dealing with. You're killers and you want Brian because he's an FBI agent on the case of Paul Jomas's drug dealings with Germany. And you've been sent by German drug dealers to kill him. Okay. Maybe you do know what you're dealing with. Yeah, that was impressive. Oh my god! We should kill you instead. Uh... Ryan! Dang it! You know we can follow her, right? Oh, yeah. But wait! Where's the gum? Oh. Um, well, if you excuse me, I have to, um... Is there a little girl's room in the hall? Oui, oui, madame. If you call me madame one more time, it's your highness. <laughs> excuse me. Why do I always think this is good? Oh, Sky, you look worried. And you look... Normal. Well, let me tell you something that my mama always used to tell me. If things aren't going your way, just look out into the horizon. But not during sunset, because then you stare straight into the sun and then you got a whole nother set of problems. Your mom was like Maya Angelou, played by Maya Rudolph. Ding! <laughs> ah! Jesus! My boobies! What's going on? The killers? They're upstairs. Great. Did you arrest them? Um, no. Did you disarm them? Not yet. What did you do? We were just kind of talking about how good I am at my job. Huh, if they could see you now. No Aunt Whitney, but Brian's hiding in the garage. Hiding? He's a bottom? I know, it's surprising, right? Well, at least no one else is dead. Yet. You know, I was thinking, maybe the wood chipper killer who killed Mac is the same person who's the intense guy that my agent mentioned in her message to me. The one who wants to kill me. Interesting theory. If only I could hear what she said. I've literally been trying to get you to listen to it. I don't want to hear the whole thing. Just skip ahead. Mm. This really intense guy came into my office and threatened me. See? He said if I didn't get you to back off the script, he would... I'm sorry, I can't even say it. Say it. He would ban me from my favorite strip club. Oh, God. Oh, and also he'd kill you. Oh. Sorry, I was going into priority to my own life. Um... I didn't want to worry you, so I figured I'd just make you think you were a terrible writer, which you kind of are sometimes, Ouch. and get you to focus on the hot stripper from Buns and Guns. So, anyway. Wait a minute. He knows Scroll back. Mm. You were a terrible writer. Yes. We didn't need to hear that again. No, no, keep playing. And get you to focus on the hot stripper from Buns and Guns. There. So. How did she know Jim worked at Buns and Guns? She likes strippers. But this means she'd been there. She knew him when she met him. Maybe Jim's the one that's been trying to kill you. You've been right next to the killer this whole time. Oh, don't tell me that. I can't take any more scares. Ah! <laughs> Who did that? Miss Baker Mac is attacking her. No. No, he's dead. Mac, dead? Again? Oh, God. She's gonna faint. Somebody catch her. Wow. Real nice, guys. You've got blood on your hands. I didn't do it! Oh, hey, I was talking to Brian. Turns out he's a bottom. Thought that might be helpful. <laughs>